Let them speak. Review hours 1 to 33. Please repeat or answer. Do you wish you knew how to read Chinese characters? Doesn't it look just beautiful? Is he telling the other person to stand still while he puts something on them? Did he tell them that it's all right to go now that they have that on? What is he using that clip you saw Therefore, is he going to have to keep using that until when he finishes walking around there? Does it appear that each person has two clips to use? Has he begun going down while holding the chain? Would you have to be brave in order to do what he's doing? Do the gloves he's wearing help him to keep from slipping? Once he got down to the person standing there, did he feel better? What happens if you begin to panic and you're not able to move? Do they tell the people to try to face the wall instead of looking down? Does it seem that there is enough room for people to pass each other? Those two must work there and try to help all the people keep calm. Is he thinking of going back that way before he goes any further? What did that person end up stopping for? Is the place they're walking on big enough for two people to walk next to each other? They must have decided to go back since they were too afraid to go any further. How is it that they decided who it is that walks closer to the rock?
Are those some of the photos that they've taken of people who have gone there? Is there anyone that he can see that is coming his way now? Is that where you're interested in going the next time you take a vacation? I bet that there are a lot of people who started that decided to turn back after beginning the walk. Do you have any idea how long they let people stand in one place? Have they got to keep moving the clips as soon as they get to the end of the line? Would those small wires be able to hold you if you happened to slip and fall? I doubt whether I would be able to do something like that. Have you been able to figure out why there aren't that many people who tried to do this today? Did you see anyone else following him before he went up those stairs? Do you think that going up is worse than going down? Are the people at the top telling him that it gets a lot easier as long as he doesn't look down? Do you see that guy playing with the clip they gave him to use? Did he ask him to call his wife to tell her that he loved her in case there is an accident? Don't you find it amazing that someone would want to do something like this? Wouldn't it be better just to buy the postcards or video they sell on the adventure? How come he's having the woman he's with go first? Would that be a good place to take a date to impress them?
I wonder why all of a sudden it's getting crowded. If you were with them, would you have told them to hurry up? Do they have a lot to see while walking along there? If it had been really windy, wouldn't it have been a lot more dangerous? Is this where some of them realize that they couldn't go any further? Why is it that he's just standing there while people pass by? Is that where you would have tried to stand to take a look at the scenery? They all must be crazy. Would that be a good place to take a selfie? Does it seem clear? Did the woman going up the ladder decide to wear a sleeping bag? Is she having trouble going up? If somebody fell while going up that, wouldn't the others climbing fall down too? Are they telling her to keep going? Is that where they started their hike about 30 minutes ago? Do those women look like they're enjoying what they're doing? Can you believe that people would pay to do something like this?
Did you notice that no one stands on the outside to let people pass next to the wall? Is he telling them to make sure they go to the bathroom first before going on? Didn't you find that all unbelievable? Oh no, more Chinese characters and I have no idea where they're taking me. Is that the way you would have wanted to go after taking that last walk? Have you ever seen an exclamation point on a danger sign they posted? Is that guy going back up someone that was going to give him some advice? Does it look like those clips would hold your weight if you slipped? My knees would have been shaking so bad that there is no way that I could have done that. Do they use chains instead of using handrails? Where else have you been that was as dangerous as this place? Do you see how they would ever be able to rescue anyone that was afraid to go any further? Wouldn't you find that too dangerous to ever go to? Do you know if they give you back your money you paid for the ticket if you get to the bottom safely? Would you have screamed if you had seen a bird come out of one of those holes? Does it appear that he isn't using the steps they have on the way down? Is the place he's at now more dangerous than the place he went earlier in the video? Do you see anyone else climbing near him? Do you have any idea how else he could have gotten to the bottom?
Did he end up stopping there a while in order to rest a bit? Has he been holding on to the poles there just in case that wire comes out of the rock? Shouldn't he have just bought the video that they sell there and just tell everyone that he did it? How long is it going to take him to get to a flat space? Is what he's doing something that you could do near where you live? Wouldn't you rather just take a bike ride somewhere? Wouldn't it be safer? Did that look like snow or ice? Do you think he's talking to the other person? Is that where he hopes to get to? By the time he gets there, would he feel too exhausted to go back up? Is that the way that he plans on going next? Did he take time to take pictures? Shouldn't he have used gloves that could have covered his fingertips? Is there anyone there who could help him get down in case there was an emergency? Is he getting to where he saw the last time he was taking pictures?
Would that be a good place you could make a wish? Did you notice the snow that must have fallen earlier? That place must have difficulty buying liability insurance in case people get hurt. Was that the next place that he was thinking about going? Wouldn't it be hard to stop those clips he uses from falling back down the wire? How come he's starting to go back down? Did he go to get the clip? Doesn't the guy that's in front of him seem to be going slow? Is he trying to get him to go faster? Did he just realize that that guy wants to go down instead of going up? Has he got to move to the side to let him pass him? These guys must have been crazy to even try to do this. Can't you see why it is that he wouldn't want to go even higher? Could you have done this? Doesn't he find it too dangerous to go any further? Would you have had the strength to do what he's doing? They both must be nervous. Isn't it hard to watch? His battery must have died. 